testing, testing. Okay, so it's been a while. At least seven to eight days. Um, as if you must know, Goku vs. Saitama is practically coming out tomorrow or Friday. So I will be here to react to that. But meanwhile, we're going to check out CJ the Champ, Slay. Deathstroke. Now this man Deathstroke is built different. His hand-to-hand -hand combat skills is clean. He almost beat the crap out of Batman. Like he was able to get Batman to run for his money. That's how you know he is mad clean with his hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. So we're about to check out this reaction guys. But this says the footage in this video was used for criticism and commentary and education. And it's protected by fair use law. So, yeah. Same plus to this. So, hope you guys did it. I mean, like the video. Let's get into this uh, reaction. Hold on. Am I recording? I'm not even sure if I'm recording. Yep, I am recording. Okay. God, dog. Ball hungry as a Hey, 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 nobody awake, so I'm about to gobble on this glit. Ah, <laughs> oh, sh. Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time to return to the round table of Black Air Force activity because today we got a special one because the last time we had one like this, it was about a good year ago. Mm -hmm. But ladies and gentlemen, stepping up to the plate, the teenage tormentor himself, Slade, the childhood menace, the master manipulator. This is one of the most devious, vile, disgusting things to ever do this shit. Man, it's been a minute since we've done a cartoon character, but man, y'all already know we got the For evidence real. on deck. And it is finally time to observe the master of the fade. So, without further ado, Exhibit A. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit A. Pulling the strings and trolling Robin. So at the beginning of Teen Titans, all Slade was doing was just pulling strings and just staying in the shadows. Bro sent the hive to jump these niggas in the broad daylight just to start f***ing with them. They ended up using all of their ults at the same time and body robbing. Then later on, they pulled up to their crib and started f***ing they shit up. Like, nah, bro, they was just enjoying their day. And then this man Slade sent the ops to pull up at their front door. So after they end up beating them, Robin picks up Gizmo. And he's like, hey, nigga, who the f*** is Slade? And Gizmo's like, huh, I ain't telling you shit. I ain't no snitch. But nah, you see, here's the thing. Slade knew they were going to fail. This oh. man was like, yeah, I know. They sorry oh. as hell. I knew they wasn't going to do shit. They was just oh. some messengers. And you see this man start playing Robin on the screen over and over and over again, asking who is Slade. Nah, bro, what the f This man was just giving them a teaser to what was going to happen to them later on. But nah, he was not done doing these pre-fight shenanigans. He got Cinder Block to break Plasmus out of jail. Why he sit down this dusty ass throne room plotting and shit thinking, hmm. Who should I send to spin their block next? Then after this, he ended up disguising himself as an old man and actually ended up manipulating forces of nature, lightning and thunder to do his bidding. And then oh. he started fighting Robin and Robin has no clue who this is at all. So the man started swinging and he's like, yes, Robin, good Robin, good. I like what I see, Loka. Catch on the flip side. So then later on, Slade ends up sending all of his Slade bots to jump the Titans and steal this oh. chip. So while one of the bots is running away with the chip, Starfire's like, please stop and hand the chip over. But then this nigga <laughs> just looks at her. He's like, man, shut your <laughs> dick ass up. Damn. <laughs> Bro really pulled the blicky on her ass. But now nah, they finally end up stopping the bot. So Robin's like, hey, nigga, quit playing with me. Who the f is Slade? So Bro takes off the mask and this man Slade is on FaceTime. What? Hey, what's good with you, cuh? Hey, listen, listen. I I've been really impressed with what you've been doing lately, my guy. I mean, I wish I was there to whoop your ass in person. But, uh, I don't think you're ready for that yet. <laughs> <laughs> 
minutes. So this man Robin ended up getting so obsessed with finding out who Slade is, he decided, you know what? I'm gonna become a criminal. So this man becomes Red X, starts stealing shit, fighting his own team just to get closer to this, this. gun. He is obsessed. So later on, he finally ends up getting to meet Slade. So Slade comes up to him and he's like, impressive, impressive. We are just alike. So Robin's like, all right then, so what's your plan? Then this man Slade says, patience, you can't expect me to trust you yet. Robin. Ooh. This man Slade like, <laughs> you didn't think I would know that it was you, <laughs> dumbass boy. Now you about to get Batman jumped and son, I'm gonna take your chain. But then everybody else ended up pulling up. So Robin just started chasing man. So while they're having this rooftop chase, Robin ends up jumping down to Slade and Slade's like, careful my boy. I don't want you getting hurt. Then he starts saying, you know, it's kind of not hero like stealing shit so he could get kind of close to me. Two wrongs doesn't make a right, my boy. So then Robin starts swinging, but Slade is just beating this kid. Bro's like, damn, did Batman teach you shit? Because you can't hit me for nothing. Then he ends up grabbing this man and throwing him all the way off of the building. So while Robin's hanging on, he ends up falling, but Slade ends up grabbing him. So Robin's like, huh? Are, are, are you saving me? And then Slade says, Nah, I'm not done whooping your ass yet. Huh? So then he whips this to back up. What the f <laughs> Nah, nah, bro. That's Ain't no absolutely way. wild. Bro really saved his life just to beat him some more. Nah, bro, that's demonic. So then Robin finally lands a hit. So he goes to take off the mask, but Ooh. homie is on FaceTime again. Hey, what's good with you, my boy? Hey, listen, listen. I really wish I could have been there today. I really wanted to whoop your ass, but the hoes called up. You feel me? <laughs> I can't miss a call with the hoes, my nigga. Hey, hey, that one night with Lady Shiva. Ooh, ooh, boy, I tell you, I had her and Tali all ghoul on my dick. So uh, I hope you like this gift I left you. So some time in- Nah, first off, imagine getting saved by your enemy just so you could get beat up again and then when you finally get a good lick on him, you you take off the mags just for a real person to be on FaceTime. Isn't that something? Y'all, I ain't gonna lie. This man might be more of a menace than your Jira. Ends up passing after menace. this and we just get this absolute weird scene. So Robin is chasing Slade in like this canyon and their movements look very similar to the rooftop chase scene. So Robin starts swinging and Slade is just beating him just like he beat him on the roof. Like he's making this man do ragdoll physics. So Robin ends up destroying these pillars and Slade's like, excellent work, Robin. We're just alike, equally ruthless. But Robin ends up socking him and he's like, I'm nothing like you. All you care about is destruction. And Slade's like, nigga, <laughs> please, you destroy everything, Robin. And the dropped pillars ended up turning into stone faces of the Titans. So he takes off his mask and sees his own face. And he starts laughing and shit. Oh, no. And this was a dream sequence the oh, entire time. Oh, my God. Dream? With his head. Oh my god, bro, the psychological warfare is strong with this one. So that morning, Slade ends up calling him. Greetings, Titans. See, look, it's early in the morning, so I'm just gonna be straight with you and show you my evil plans. So look, I got this bomb, right? And like I said, I'm gonna be very forward with you. I'm about to air this bitch out, plain and simple. Oh, and just to let you know, this detonator can stop time, you feel me? So, <laughs> I got the power of the world, dude. So, uh, Ain't no way. pussies. This nigga is crazy. So they get into the warehouse, and Robin is just beating the hell out of all the bots. He ain't saving none for nobody. And yo, look at him beating the hell out of this dead bot. Dog is channeling his inner Brian Fury right now. So Starfire is like, Robin, stop, or you're getting no more of thy coochie for the rest of the week. And Robin's like, nah, f that. Where this nigga slay that? So then he ended up chasing down an innocent man, threw him on the wall, and started interrogating him. I was like, hey, what slay that, cuz? Tell me now. But then they ended up stopping him. But they like, hey, bro, chill. It ain't that deep. But Robin's like, huh, deep? Nigga, f you know about deep? Man, y'all sorry as hell. I'm going to find Slade. So finally, after all this time, Robin finds Slade. So Slade says, wow, about damn time, man. I thought you was never going to make it. Like, bro, it's been 11 episodes, but I'm probably graduated. <laughs> bro, I got the detonator right here. You want it? Then come get it. So they get to scrapping and Slade just starts beating him again. 
Miz is like, come on now, Robbie. You could do a little better than that. Now witness my ultimate attack. Flying. Tazumaki is a pure gun. Ooh. Ooh, this is even a fight. This is a beating. Miz is like, mm, good technique. Then breaks his arm. Then he gives him the DBZ gut punch. That man's thinking about life differently after that one. But then Robin ended up raging out. So he grabs the detonator. And he's like, yes, I've finally done it. But Slade's like, ha, uh, no, you did it. You see, there is no trigger because this is not a bomb. So the rest of the team was by this so-called bomb and they ended up getting shot by this laser gun. So then Slade explains his actual plan. The bomb was just a distraction. That laser that he shot at everybody else ended up having probes on it. And with the push of a button, he could kill them at any second. So Robin's Ooh. like, nah, you can't control them. But Slade says, but I can control you. You see, all of this trolling that I've been doing towards you, I was testing you. You see, you're going to become my apprentice. Because if you don't, I'm going to kill everybody else. So you have no choice. So he ended up manipulating this man to become his apprentice. So he got Robin out here stealing stuff, fighting his own friends, and is just straight up abusing him. So then Slade ended up making him rob Wayne Enterprises. Ooh, I noticed the Bruce is mad. But then the Titans pull up, so he dips. So Slade is in his earpiece like, Hey, boy, the f*** you think you're doing? You best go get your ass back in there and steal that chip. Or it's off your friends right now. Stop playing with me. So Robin is going to end up having to fight his own crew. So Starfire ends up holding him up. But then Slade in the earpiece again like, Hey, boy, you better shoot her right now. I ain't playing with you, Robin. But Starfire doesn't want to shoot him, so Robin's like, Ugh, I, I can't do this. Hey, nigga, didn't I tell you to shoot that bitch? I told you, boy, I ain't playing with you. So then he turns the probes on them. Oh, my God. Oh, so then Robin man. just has to shoot him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So then Robin gets back to the base, and then he tries to swing on Slate, but he grabs his punch. Bro's like, hmm. That's a dishonorable punch. Like I told you, Robin, we're just alike. But then he starts beating this man again. Oh my goodness, bro. Somebody <laughs> called child services. They started tossing him around. And Mans was like, you ungrateful motherfucker. Ooh, what I'm about to do to you, you best call Batman right now. But then everybody else ended up pulling up. So then Slade ends up using the probes on him, but Robin ends up pulling the probes on himself. So he has to stop using it, and then they just started jumping. Like that. They was like, teamwork makes the dream work. Mm -hmm. So Slade was like, eh, another day. This is just the beginning, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, that was Exhibit A, and it's finally time to move on to Exhibit, exhibit B. B. That was only just Exhibit right, A. Gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit B, the manipulation of Terra. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Where can I start with this one? Y you know what? L let's just go ahead and get the elephant out the room. Now, there's a reason I'm focusing only on the 2003 one. <laughs> because some of these other versions of Deathstroke, <laughs> oh boy, I tell you. So Ain't yeah, no way. Uh, back to our regular schedule programming. In the second season of Teen Titans, we meet Terra, this girl with earth bending like powers. So she ends up becoming friends with the Titans. And if you're friends with the Titans, you're on this man's radar. So Tara has a little secret, and it's that she can't control her powers. And Beast Boy is the only person that she tells this to. And she's like, Peaky Promise, don't tell nobody. So later on, she teams up with the Titans to stop Slade. So she ends up getting separated, and she sees Slade running. So she ends up chasing him, and she ends up stopping him. But then Bro sweeps her, and he's like, huh, you falling for my trap. So Dog traps her in this cave, then he starts swinging on this defenseless girl. Then this man performed one of the Brizzy. most demonic gaslights of all time. You know, I wrote a clip. Ain't get back up. You know, little girl, I know literally everything about you, right? You see, I've been watching you for days, weeks, months, years, decades, centuries, eons, since she wasn't the beginning even, of time. She wasn't even allowed um, that long. Nigga, isn't that kind of creepy? Shut up. You're scared. That when the Titans figure out you can't control your powers, they gon' cast you out. And they will, cause they ain't your friends. But you see, I can help you. I can teach you how to control your powers. But, uh, what about my friends? <laughs> Bitch, f your friends. It's just a matter of time for a slide on them niggas. But Beast Boy promised me. F that pointy eared ass. <laughs> that loud mouth ass boy, you know he gon' tell him. But he promised me. He ain't promised you shit. <laughs> 
bullshit with your sorry ass. You need me, ho? <laughs> so after this mission, the Titans invite Terra to join the team. Robin's like, you're a great fit, but we can tell that you can't control your powers. So she ended up freaking out, thinking that Beast Boy said something, but he actually ain't say nothing. They just figured it out. And she ended up running away. And guess who she ran to? Sleep. This nigga is a demon. He planted the seeds in her head. And all he literally had to do was just wait. So some time passes and she ends up coming back and she can control her powers. Hmm, something's real fishy here. So she ends up joining the team again, but obviously she has other ulterior motives. So she ends up going on a date with Beast Boy, so they leave. So when they leave, Cyborg get up and he like, God dog, no, ball hungry as a bitch. And hey, hey, nobody awake, so I'm about to gobble on this glitch. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, this man Cyborg really got caught in 4K with the movie. So Terra ended up That's taking down the too. entire security of the Titans Tower. So while the Titans are getting jumped by all the slave pots, Terra's on her date with the Beast Boy. So they end this Ferris wheel. And when they try to kiss, this man Slade is in the corner just chilling. Bro's like, oh, so y'all motherfuckers just going to act like I ain't here shit. All right, then. So he walks over, throws Beast Boy out of the Ferris wheel, starts whipping his ass. So they end up retreating into the House of Mirrors. And this man Slade looking like one of the tethered in us. So then it's revealed that Terra is Slade's apprentice. I mean, if you couldn't see the signs from a mile away. So then Beast Boy started raging out, but Slade just pulled the cookie on him. So after they finished scrapping, Beast Boy's like, wow, so you just gonna play with my feelings like that? All right, then no wonder you ain't got no friends. Beat the traffic, ho. You are not him. And that was the final straw that finally ended up breaking her. And this man Slade had this all planned out. This man is a different type of menace. Bruh's like, my apprentice, you shall now serve me in this whack ass suit with them big ass feet, them fat ass size 52s. My God, you get me <laughs> sore I'm right for his money with those big ass, fat How ass, could crackers. big ass, steel toed boots. God damn them. Is fat as hell. So some days later, the Titans driving down the street and they get hit by this rock. And it was Terra in this whack ass suit. And she's like, hey, pussies. And of course, this man slayed in her earpiece. Yeah, that's right. I like that shit. I like that shit. So she starts scrapping with them. And then it's revealed that Slade has control of her suit. And he has direct access to her nervous system. So oh. Bro takes over and just starts going buck wild. So the Titans end up having to dip. So then later on, Slade sends Terra to break out Cinder Block, Plasmus, and Overload. And all the Titans ended up getting body, man. It, it was just raps after that. So this man Slade took over the entire city. Yo, where the f is the Justice League at, exactly. my nigga. So the Titans end up having to come back and jump Terra. So while this girl is running for her life, getting the absolute brakes beat off of her, she runs back to Slade like, Slade, I can't do it. Then he socks her in the face. So I was like, hmm, you thought what they did to you was bad? Oh, please, just wait till what I'm about to do to your ass. So this man just starts beating the life out of her. Bro, it's like, you had one job and you running away like a bitch? Oh, nah, little boo-boo, that ain't gonna do. So now Slade is controlling her, about to make her kill Beast Boy. But through the power of friendship, she ended up breaking free and started swinging on Slade. Slade was like, ah! Stop throwing these little small ass pebbles at me. And then the menace slave ended up falling to his demise. And that was the end of his journey. Psych! Exhibit C. <laughs> wow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you our final exhibit from the grave. So Slade has been dead for some time now. But Robin is obviously still obsessed thinking he could come back one day. So one day while they're fighting Cinderblock, Robin is in this dark forest. And he ends up seeing Slade, so he starts tracking him down. So Slade's like, oh, Robin, wouldn't you like to stop me again? I got these three bombs placed around the city. Can you defuse them in time? So then everybody else pulls up and Robin's like, guys, Slade, he's back. Well, Cyborg's like, oh, wait, wait, what you mean, cuz? We literally saw that man drown in lava. But Robin's like, nah, I swear to God, I saw that nigga. So Robin sends them out to find the bombs, but they can't find absolutely nothing. 
So then Robin C. Slade again, and he starts boxing him up. Ooh. So then he ends up running right past Starfire. So Robin's like, hey, the f girl, what are you doing? He's right there. But she's like, uh, Robin, what the hell have you been smoking? Because there was nobody there. So Robin ends up running off back to Slade's old base. So he ends up seeing him again. So he's like, ah, oh, Robin, hello, glad you could make it. So Robin starts swinging again, but then Slade just Move starts beating the absolute hell out of this nigga. He is beating him like he's never beat him before. Oh, like, this is oh. a fight. This is just a pummel. Hey, so the other Titans pull up and they see him just getting organs. hit by nothing. The side boy like, uh, <laughs> my nigga, are you good? But Robin just keeps on insisting that Slade is here, so they just have to <laughs> shoot him. So they end up strapping Robin on this bed to see what's wrong with him. So while they outside and Robin is in this room alone, he ends up seeing Slade again. So I was like, Robin, what are you doing? Let me get you out of those restraints. So some minutes later and then everybody realized, oh my God, yo, where did this man just go? So Raven tries to find him. So she ends up going in his mind. And yo, you can just see all the trauma this man has. If you look closely, you can literally see his parents falling to their death off of the trapeze. Like, I know this is supposed to be a kid show, but Jesus Christ. So Raven finally ends up getting into his mind. So she's like, see Robin, there's absolutely nobody here. <laughs> So then wow. Raven's like, oh my god. <laughs> so Slade just punched Robin so hard that Raven felt it. <laughs> That's yo. <laughs> yo, that is so brutal. Christ. So Raven finally ends up getting into his mind. So she's like, see Robin? There's absolutely nobody here. <laughs> So then Raven's like, oh my god, no, nah, he's not tripping. So meanwhile, as we cut to Slade, just whooping Robin, just absolutely brutally pummelizing this man in his own house, Robin literally starts begging for his life. Bro's like, please, Slade, stop. And Slade's like, nah, I will never stop. I am the thing that keeps you up at night. The evil that haunts every dark corner of your goddamn mind. I will absolutely never rest, and neither will you. But Robin ends up turning on the light, and he finally stops him. And he ends up figuring out that this man Slade had one last trick, to have this toxic dust from his mask enter Robin so oh. he could beat the shit out of this nigga in his head. Oh, my God. Oh, buddy, that's just taking it just too far. Man said, even in death, I will still whoop your ass. So we got to be thinking, all right, this is finally the end of Slade, right? It's got to be over, right? Psych! What is this it? man comes oh. back from the dead. Hey, yo, what the fuck? There is no stopping this man. So they obviously like, yo, wait, wait, hold on. How are you here? The bro's like, oh, uh, well, you see, Raven, your daddy has given me a second chance at life. Oh, and also, I'm a firebender now. So then he starts whooping the whole crew. Liz is playing with his food. So then he pulls up on Raven and he's like, I must deliver the message. So Raven ended up having to use. But that did not work at all. Bro is still moving. So Robin ends up boxing him up, but dog just shivered it off. Oh my goodness. Bro was like, hmm, I have been dead for a minute. Thank you, Robin, for uh, loosening my bones. So he ended up tracking down Raven and made her see the end of the world. He absolutely traumatized her. So then he just drops her off the building. He's like, oh, I forgot to tell you. <laughs> Happy birthday. So then some days later, he ends up pulling up to the Titan's Tower with a army of fire demons. And bro's like, mm -hmm, I told y'all I would spin the block on y'all one day. So Robin ended up kicking this man, but he just got him like the damn Undertaker and just started bodying everybody. Ooh. Then Cyborg basically shot a Kamehameha at this nigga, and he just ate it. Bro didn't even move. So Raven ended up just having to give herself up. So Slade was technically an accomplice to causing the end of the world. So let's see, this man basically just killed 7.7 billion people. 
So then after this, Trigon ended up betraying him. So then Slade has to end up working with Robin. So Robin can get Raven back and so Slade can get his body back. Cause the deal that Slade made with Trigon is that if he will bring Raven to him, he will give him his flesh back. But Trigon forfed on this man, he was capping. So they ended up splitting up. So Robin's like, all right, so where you going? And Slade's like, down a little further. You see, people like me, when they die, go to really, really hot places, you feel me? I'm talking like Nashville chicken, my nigga. So mm -hmm. later on, Slade ends up pulling up at this door with this ginormous boss-looking character guarding the thing. Doll looking like a soul's boss. And Doll's like, What you seek, you shall not reclaim. You shall not pass! So the boss OP is working Ooh. Slade right now. Bro is actually getting packed up. So then the dude says, You cannot hope to defeat pure evil. Then Slade's like, <laughs> Nigga, who the f do you think I am? So then he ends up blowing this man to bits. And he ends up getting his whole body back. And he's like, <laughs> Pure evil. Buddy, I am pure evil. <laughs> I'll be taking that axe too. So then Ooh. while the Titans are fighting Trigon, this man Slade comes from the top rope and cuts off one of his horns. Bro's like, Hmm. These are my kids to torment, so f off. And hey, also, you gonna hold me and lie to me? <laughs> Eat my dick. So they ended up just jumping Trigon and he was just done for. So then Slate dips and he doesn't appear till the final episode of the show, which is one of me? the weirdest endings I have ever seen. So this man Beast Boy goes back to the House of Mirrors because Tara's back and everything, but she don't remember nothing. And then Slate just starts talking to him again. He's like, you know, Terra never liked you, right? Your breath stank, <laughs> musty, Dang. and you dusty. No wonder she don't want to remember your ass. So then bro comes from the roof and starts oh. beating the hell out of him. But then hmm. Beast Boy ends up ramming him into this roller coaster. But it wasn't Slade, it was one of his bots. And the bot keeps on repeating. She doesn't want to see you anymore. She doesn't want to see you anymore. She doesn't want to see you anymore. Oh my goodness, bro. This man passed his test with ease. I mean, bro, this man is a demon and we just focusing on the kid show. I mean, this is the same man that drove his daughter to insanity, stole the speed force, and the amount of people this man is killed. Stole the nah, speed bro, force? Uh-uh. Oh, yeah. It is confirmed. Slay is... Slay Wilson is more of a menace than Ujira Hanma. Ain't no way. But hope you guys did the video. If y'all did, make sure I got you punch the like button in the face like a boss and peace.